Hi, Fred, FR5ED with a Silent 5 here with another beer review. This is Death of a Contract Brewer. It's a black IPA from uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, well, it's the Hebrew um, branding from Schmaltz Brewing out of Clifton, New York, or Clifton Park, New York. Um, there's a long commercial description here I am not going to read, but it uh, it bears reading uh, when you have a chance. It's, uh, you know, some clever... Uh, explanation of a lot of things. But the final sentence, uh, the reason it's called what it is, it says, um, coming into 17 years of beer and year one with our own brewery, we commemorate this conversion with death of a contract brewer, our schmaltz homage to new life. <laughs> I'm not sure I said that quite right. But anyway, um, it uh, uh, signed by Jeremy Cohen, proprietor. All right. Um, it rates a 96 overall and a 91 in style, and that's after 233 reviews on Rate Beer. And on Beer Advocate, it rates a, an 86 after 62 reviews. Um, it is an American black ale, according to Rate Beer, um, and a black IPA on Beer Advocate. As you can tell, that style is still in flux as far as an official, uh, official style name. Um, let's see, it is 70 IBUs and 7% ABV. Get my, my trusty um, basic brewing plunge style bottle opener. And that has it open with no trouble at all. Yes, it is. It is quite dark. And we'll get as much in there as we can. Looks like we might get the whole thing. Uh, with a little bit too robust on the pour thin. Okay, it's not going over the top. It is, I can see, I've got a nice bright light in front of me here. I don't know if you can see, but I can see th through it. It's clear. And looking at the bottom of the glass, looking down through there, I see almost a cola color. Um, but it, it's, it's pretty dark. Uh, not quite like a stout, more like a porter or a, a, some darker brown ales. Got a nice four-finger head because I got a little robust with the uh, pour there at the end. And it's mixed density. Again, probably you can't tell it. It's a little blown out here. Um, but there's some tiny bubbles, medium bubbles, large bubbles, so it's mixed. Going to have trouble smelling it because the head comes right up to the top. Actually, no trouble smelling it at all. Getting some nice, good citrusy and and uh, melon pineapple notes there. Floral, not getting any real pine. If it is, it's in the background. But I'm also getting some dark roast uh, malty notes there too. Again, I can't get my nose down in there without getting some foam all over my nose. See if I can uh, see if I can taste this. Wow, nice blend of things. Getting plenty of hot bitterness. That 70 IBUs is, is for real. A little bit of sweetness. Lots, lots of dark roasted malts. Almost get some, some coffee in there too. Boy, it left with, it left with two things. The dark roasted malt flavor and all that hot bitterness hanging in there. So let's see, let me get that head to die down a little bit there. Got a lot of nice uh, dense microphone floating on the top there. Nice and balanced. And I think a good example of, of a black IPA because as I've said, pr probably with every black IPA that I've reviewed, to me, the best black IPA is a perfect blend of the aroma uh, and, and flavor of the hops with the hop bitterness, coupled with the aroma and the flavor of the dark roasted malts. And this really, it does that. It, it lands in the middle there. I mean, I'm I'm still left with that hot bitterness. <laughs> um, 
there are some of the black IPAs, so-called, that when you look at them, they're nice and dark. Um, but when you go to smell and taste them, they're, they're definitely just their IPA. You don't get any of the dark roast in the flavor or the aroma. It's almost like they just used, uh, I believe it's black malt, which doesn't impart much flavor, but really is there to color it. So it's like they took a regular IPA and colored it in the recipe. Uh, and on the other end of the spectrum are the ones that, um, you know, they're nice and dark, of course, but they, they didn't get enough of the hops in there for the hop bitterness and the hop aroma. And so it's, it's not much more than a, you know, a porter or a stout. Um, but this one falls right in the middle. I'm still hanging on to that hot bitterness there. It, it's there. So wonderfully balanced. I mean, it's almost like the stout's been blended with an IPA. But, you know, it, it stands on its own for sure. And I do have it down close to the proper temperature. It's not, you know, not quite, I shouldn't say down. I almost have it up to the proper temperature. Um... It could stand to be a little bit warmer, but it is quite tasty. I highly recommend it. I can't remember uh, what I paid for it, but it was a four pack. So uh, at only 7%, you know, you don't often see the lower, well, I shouldn't call it lower lower gravity, but it doesn't hit the imperial status of anything at 8% and above. Um, so for a medium gravity beer, we'll say, to see it in a four pack, uh, they are definitely, uh, uh, selling the flavor and the aroma of this. It's very, very tasty. So it's not, you know, being sold in a four pack at a high price because of high alcohol. It's, you know, it's it's definitely all about that recipe. So anyway, that is Death of a Contract Brewer uh, by Schmaltz Brewing. It's the Hebrew, the chosen beer. And this is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.